Hello, Defense Attorney Mark Rosenfeld here outside the Santa Monica Police Station. One of the common questions I get is what happens when somebody is arrested? And it's best to break it down into three different segments. The first is what happens out in the field, out on the street. If a police officer decides that they're going to make an arrest, then in all likelihood the person is going to be arrested. They're not going to talk their way out of it and they're probably not going to get away. The best thing to do is exercise your right to remain silent and cooperate with the police officer. Do not give them any information, just your name and uh, identifying information, date of birth, and if it's uh, an arrest for a DUI, you need to submit to a chemical test, but you don't want to talk or give any more information than is absolutely necessary. Out in the field, if you're arrested, they will handcuff and search, to, search you to make sure you don't have any uh, weapons or drugs or anything dangerous and you do not want to take anything uh, like drugs or weapons into custody into a jail facility because there are additional crimes that could be charged if you're in a, a lockup facility with anything like that. And you'll typically be placed in the back of a, a car or an SUV and transported to the local custody facility. That could be a local police station like Santa Monica Police Station, Police Department, or it could be downtown to the inmate reception center where the sheriff does the, the booking. Uh, there are police stations all over the city and usually they'll transport to the closest one. And the, that first phase is out in the field where you are handcuffed, placed in the car, you know, searched and, and transported to the station. The second phase is the booking process in the police station. That involves photographs, fingerprinting, uh, you know, background check, and to see if there's any uh, warrants out for the person's arrest and collect their information. Uh, that process can take some time. It, it can take several hours just to, to get background check information back. Uh, if somebody is under the influence of a controlled substance or alcohol, they may be held until they sober up and uh, they will be allowed to contact, uh, you know, use the phone at some point, but usually it does take some time to get uh, to the point where they can actually use the phone and make calls to a, a bail bondsman. And that, that booking process can take a few hours uh, to book somebody in and then also to process them out, make sure that they're cleared to be released if they're going to be released on their own recognizance without posting bail. And most people for, for most charges should be released on their own recognizance. There are certain situations where someone may be a flight risk or have uh, prior warrants where they may want to do uh, a higher bail amount. Uh, additionally, the, the booking process, the person can be released uh, usually the next morning. The third phase would be getting released and often using a bail bondsman to uh, assist in getting the person out if bail is set or if they don't get released OR with bail, they would be transported to uh, court to see a judge and have a judge make a determination on, on whether or not they should be released on bail or their own recognizance. If somebody is gonna be released directly from the police station, they will be given back their property and usually released out of the uh, lockup part of the jail in the back. And if you've got questions about the process of being arrested, you can reach me directly at 310-424-3145.